Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining the Schneider Electric Press Conference. Being here in the room or back in your office or working from home as a new normal. Uh, I would like, before starting, to introduce you my colleague. Jan Golaz is a senior vice president in charge of the smart home business for Schneider Electric. And I'm Christoph Mell, the vice president of marketing for home and distribution. We're going to spend the next 25 minutes together to share with you what is our vision of home of the future. Now, before doing so, I would like to tell you who we are. Who is Schneider Electric? And this is where we're going to start with this quick movie to introduce you, Schneider. The world is full of people telling you who to believe they are. Well, we thought we'd tell you who we're not. Let's start here. We're not in shipping. We don't make lifts. Seriously, no lifts. We do this. We're good at this. And we make all of these. And even though you'll find us here and here, we don't make energy. We make you save it. And you'll be saving the environment too. Are we an internet company? Well, we connect and power just about everything around you. Helping machines talk to each other and to you. Making your world more personal. We're seeking out the big questions and answering them honestly. Like how can we make the most of our energy and resources? Or can we make access to energy and digital? Basic human rights. We're real people, employees, developers, partners, investors, and inventors, all passionate about doing what's right. We're open, humans of all sorts from all over, learning from each other and about each other. We're not here to save the world. It'll go on with or without us. We're here to help power and connect what you do every day, to ensure life is on everywhere, for everyone at every moment. Now, as you can see, Schneider Electric is a company which is firmly rooted into sustainability and energy efficiency. We supply to convention center like this one, or to building, or to airport, but also it's applied to home. To talk about it, I would like to introduce you Manish Pant who is the executive vice president and CEO of Home and Distribution. He will introduce his vision of Home of the Future uh, from Hong Kong. So we recorded him two days ago, and later on, he will be live for Q&A to answer all your questions. When we talk about question, everything is digital today. What we will need you is to scan this QR code. It's on WhatsApp. Then you will register your na the name, like IFA, and you will send your question. We will collect all the questions during the presentation, and we will bring it back at the end of the session to address uh, any open question that were not addressed during the presentation. Now, I would like to start with this movie of Manish Pant, who will share with you his vision of Home of the Future. Hello, everyone, and good afternoon. I'm here in Hong Kong presenting to you in this new normal and, if I may say, the accelerated digital world. I hope you're having a good event in Berlin. And as we are talking about homes, I'm here in my home in Hong Kong, and it's no better place to be for this talk with you. I must also tell you that it's possible that I introduce you to my family on the screen here, as this has been happening in quite a few meetings lately. Smart homes have been around for, for quite a while, and we have been using digital technology in our homes to automate mostly lighting, heating, security, or access control. And it's mostly very gadget-centric. But our lives have changed in the past years and in the more recent past. We see that the demand for energy in homes has grown significantly. I can share my own example with you that in the past three months, my electricity bills have actually doubled. And this is because me and my family, we are spending a lot more time at home than we used to be doing that. And I'm sure it's not only me, but a lot of us are impacted. Therefore, the need to start to make homes not only smart, but also sustainable, 
and the urgency of the same has increased with the current crisis. At Schneider Electric with these solutions, we are going to lead in this transformation. Sustainability today is a global priority and we all recognize that climate change trend cannot continue its current trajectory. We need to respect the global commitment to limit temperature rise by 1.5 degrees for the century. Now this is only doable if we all achieve the net zero emissions globally by 2050. In this context, did you know that homes will be the single largest consumer of electricity and the single largest contributor of carbon dioxide emissions up to 30 percent? So we have a very big part to play in the home sector in order to reach those targets. Let me explain to you how this is changing and why homes must evolve. We today see four major challenges that the homes are going to face. The first one is to prepare homes to become more sustainable to reduce their impact on the climate. We just talked about that. The second is around resilience, which is a challenge based on two components. First is safety. We tend to often forget that electrical faults can still happen today, and they happen more often than we think. Electrical fires alone have been costing homeowners 3.6 billion euros every year in that's just in Europe and US. Most of this damage could be avoided. The second part is linked to sustainability, which is the extreme effects of weather patterns like the bushfires, the wildfires, and the storms in the US that we are seeing are increasing both in frequency and in intensity. And these are causing periodical power interruptions and the continuity of power supply becomes crucial, which is part of the resilience challenge that the homes are facing. The third challenge is a direct consequence of the increase in electricity consumption that we are going to see in our homes. As we use more gadgets and appliances, we are going to increase the consumption of electricity in the home. And the electricity bill is most likely to go up as well. Take heating and cooking, for example. Both are becoming more and more electric. In UK, as an example, there is a commitment to switch to fuel, to electric heating by 2050 as part of the net zero targets. Every time we switch to heating and cooking from gas to electricity, we are increasing the electricity consumption by about 20 to 30 percent. And as we are switching more to the electrical car, which is becoming more and more popular, you will see the increase in electricity consumption by up to 40 percent. Significantly, the electricity consumption is going to go up in homes and it is expected to double by 2050. Thankfully, there are huge opportunities for efficiency in the way we consume electricity. Moving to the fourth challenge, as we are spending more time in homes, we are not just living here, we are playing here, we are studying here, we are working here. All this means that we need more and more personalized modular spaces in our home. Today, thanks to digitization, we can deliver that need for personalization and empower our consumers to be in control of their homes. At Schneider, we fully recognize these four challenges and we are excited to be sharing with you our solutions and innovations that will address these challenges. Electricity is a lifeline of our homes. It connects everything together. Now, electric powers digital and digital enables more electric. This helps us control and monitor every device, whether it is connected or non-connected. Digital makes that happen. Now, this interplay between electric and digital is our solution and this, is, this solution is wiser. We are leaders in the electric world and two out of five homes are already equipped with our products. Thanks to our wiser solution, we are now linking together the electric world and the digital world. We are able to link the supply side of energy which is changing to multiple sources, whether it's your grid or your own solar generation on one side and the consumption of energy inside your home which is going beyond your heating, lighting, to electric vehicles, and we are able to put all of that in one system. It is through this solution 
which goes from supply all the way to devices, we are able to address the four challenges of the homes of the future that we talked about. This is Wiser. I'm excited to share with you now some of the latest innovations that we have within our Wiser offer. And the best place for that is the kitchen where I will tell you more. We are here in the kitchen and I'm going to share with you how with Wiser we are addressing the four challenges that we see coming. First, Wiser makes your home resilient. It adds a layer of extra active safety to bring peace of mind and ensures power is available and is reliable for you for the different things that you use in your home. In the same way that you use today a connected watch, it keeps an eye that keeps an eye on your heart rate and other health indicators. Think of Wiser as the Fitbit for the home. It's an open platform that monitors the health of your home, like the grounding system, like the arc fault events, and, they, and it alerts you before any of these unforeseen events happen so that you can call your electrician before any harm is done. In resilience, continuity of service is very important and the second aspect. What if your TV suddenly cut while you are watching the match between Bayern Munich and PSG in the final of Champions Cup uh, a couple of weeks ago? When you are in France, that's something that could happen when you exceed your approved consumption at home. It could trip every time you are close to the limit of your consumption. Now, it is possible through this device, Acti9 Active, which will let you know when your limit is approaching so that you can continue to watch your soccer game and of course support your favorite team. Perfect example of how electric and digital are coming together. The second uh, aspect is Wiser is making your home personal. It adapts to your needs, comfort and habit so that it can support you at every moment of your life whether you're at home watching a movie, working, sleeping, or even when you're away on a holiday. Let's take the example where homes are regularly suffering from power interruptions, which is, which is quite common these days. Why is that ensuring that your home is well organized because it will tell you, for example, it's time to charge your battery, as well as how long the storage will last depending on the devices that you're using in your home so that you know exactly how many hours do you have left and what can you change to improve the reliability. Second example, when you leave your home, Wiser sets your home in an away mode so that you don't have to worry about your, example, your heating. You can automatically set to reduce your consumption. You don't have to worry about lighting and they will all be turned off, including the ones in your kid's home, which I think most of the time they forget. You don't have to worry about the shutters and blinds either. They will be closed as soon as you leave. Now you have a secure home and a home that is actually wasting zero energy while you're away. And also, when you're enjoying yourself on a holiday, if you wish to simulate your presence in the home so that you feel your home is more secure, Wiser lets you do that. The third element is Wiser is also making your homes more efficient. In an on electric home, Wiser could help you save up to 50% on energy, which one of our studies in UK has shown without compromising on your comfort. Wiser is integrating the supply in energy together with your demand so that you can choose the cheapest tariff at a given moment and this comes especially handy when dealing with some of the electric guzzlers that we have here, uh, but also like your electric vehicles and pool pumps, etc. I would like to present you a next innovation, which is an efficient temperature control system. What is unique about this is that you are able to control the temperature in room by room. If you're not in a particular room and the heating of that room is reduced, you could walk into an unoccupied room and the heating is restored. This is different from other devices that keep the entire home at the same temperature. This allows you to use your heating system much more efficiently and also saving a lot of energy in the process. Let's take another example. It's a windy autumn day and your kids have gone out to play in the garden and they have left the window open. 
the usual behavior of the thermostat would be to boost the heating in order to keep the temperature at the same level. But the wind is going to win this battle every time while you waste that energy trying to heat up the room. With Visor, you would soon be able, with a, a very simple open window detector, you can detect when the window is open and it will pause the heating and wait for the window to be closed again by sending a notification uh, to the user. All of this makes efficiency a very important pillar for Visor. Finally, Wiser makes your start smart home sustainable. I'm very delighted to show you today our power tag sensor, which is the smallest Wiser wireless energy sensor in the world. It's a plug and play solution that is perfect for both renovations and for new builds. It's fully compatible with Wiser, and this tiny gadget allows you to monitor, to control your energy in your home and coming from any energy source. It is integrated inside your electrical panel, and you can monitor your energy consumption in real time. It would help you predict your energy production from the solar panel and also help to monitor it. What's more, it will tell you how you can increase the mix of renewable in the total consumption so that you can maximize the use of solar panels that you've installed in, in your home. And in the near future, Wiser will give you also your carbon footprint, both in terms of electric consumption and in terms of carbon dioxide emissions uh, that are happening, that, that you are contributing towards. So now you know Wiser better, and you know, and you understand how with Wiser, Schneider is able to answer the four major challenges of homes, which is sustainability, resilience, efficiency, and personalization. Each of us can be a very strong contributor in our goal and journey to achieving our net zero targets, making sure that we limit it to 1.5 degrees. We have a capacity to contribute to make the world a much more sustainable place, and it starts right here in our homes. With Wiser, we have the power to transform our homes from smart to sustainable. Let's go on this journey and make it happen. Hi, Manish. Hello, everybody. Good, good evening. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I remind you for the, you. for the question, uh, here's a QR code. Please scan it and, uh, and use it to ask your question. Um, otherwise, I'll, I can take also a question directly. Um, so while we are getting questions, what I could do, Manish, is uh, um, maybe start to use some of the frequent questions we, we got the past few weeks uh, on, on Wiser. Um, and one of the first questions we were receiving those days, uh, what about the compatibility of Wiser? Can you give us some insight on that? Sure. I think it's a, it's a very good question uh, and very relevant in today's context where you know, we want systems to be interoperable. Uh, so Schneider uh, offers uh, the, the Wiser solution, which can work with uh, classical platforms like Alexa and Google. So you can use them to, to integrate into Wiser and, uh, and get your functions uh, going. At the same time, uh, our offer, uh, being on an open protocol, uh, can also integrate with other companies, and Schneider is part of uh, today, uh, a connectivity alliance uh, in Europe uh, and, and the world, uh, where we are partnering with Dan Foss, with Asa Bloy, uh, and Somfi in order to make our products seamlessly interoperable. Thank, thank you, Manish. Um, no, I, I don't see much question, but I wanted to come back to one. Uh, um, so it's coming, but I, I wanted to also come back from. Uh, question we got last week from uh, uh, an analyst is, you have created this wireless sensor. Uh, now, is it only working for Schneider and new bill? Can it be used also for uh, renovation? So what's your position on that? So yeah, I, I think this wonderful small device that you have in your hand, uh, it's, uh, it's really very powerful. 
it's as we as we said in the presentation that it's uh, it's the smallest wireless sensor in the world, uh, and and the best part is that it can go on uh, an existing installation or a new installation. It can go on a Schneider device or it can go on a non-Schneider device. Uh, what uh, what it does is that uh, it is making sure that you are getting uh, all your energy information, uh, whether it's coming through solar, whether it's coming through the grid, you are able to monitor it. It's, uh, it's bringing the, the functionality of giving you the ability to switch uh, to the lowest cost of power at a given point of time, uh, for example. Uh, and um, you, can, you can also... Uh, the, the beauty of this product is that you can make a non-connected device connected uh, because you know it can it can get you the granularity of how is the consumption on a particular circuit inside your home. Therefore, you know you can you can you can then uh, use another device to control and make sure that you're consuming the most awesome required energy in your home. Uh, I have another question that came, uh, maybe it's for, for Jan also, you decide, it's, I'm using already Wiser 4 KNX device. When will I be able to use voice control for my device? No. Yes, so uh, before I answer the question, maybe to complement uh, what uh, Manish was saying, is that, yes, it is the smallest sensor for energy in the world, and very effective and very efficient to measure the energy at the panel level. So it's very convenient for uh, uh, everything related to uh, uh, existing installation. You put it, it takes just a few minutes. After that, you can get on your mobile all the energy which is flowing through this device. So you can put it at your main incomer, then you have your main consumption. You can put it on your cricketer loads. You can put it on your loads which are connected to your EV charger. You can connect it to your PV panels. You get your consumptions. You get your production. And it's very, very flexible to scale your existing installation to a, a smart installation. So it's, this is one of the most innovative products that Schneider Electric for the residential market, but also for the building market, has created lately. Having said that, with this product, you connect this to the, to the wiser, and suddenly you have a very powerful solution for energy management, blending the, uh, the consumptions and the production, having the connections also to the grid, and taking the right decision in your energy management. Okay, so coming back to the question that the uh, question we had is on the KNX, on the KNX, on the wiser KNX and voice control, this is planned for 2021. It's something that uh, we want every system which is connected on wiser to be fully compatible with the uh, the voice control, Siri, Google, uh, Google Home, and uh, and Alexa. Okay, thank you, Jan. Um, any other question? If there is. No more question. I'm checking what came on, on WhatsApp. Uh, I don't think we... Do we have... I, yes, I have another question. Uh, but we, it's, we, it says... Uh, hold on, I have a, have a question here, Jan. It says, uh, many homeowners already have connected smart home device to monitor energy usage. Uh, or use service from their local utility company uh, that provide them already information. All this, all this is different. So yeah, uh, I would I would take that. Um, what what uh, as we said that the advantage that we have with uh, power tag as compared to uh, what we have. Uh, with, uh, with the local smart meter is that with PowerTag, which is part of the wider system, you're able to get the device level or the appliance level consumption. So while with the, with the smart meter, you know how much you're consuming in your home, but you don't know where you're consuming. 
and therefore where you should act in order to make sure that you're meeting energy bills and you're making yourself uh, efficient and therefore sustainable. And this is what uh, Wiser is able to do, whereas you would not be able to get that function from, uh, from the smart meter. So I have another one, so thank you Manish. This is how about repairability and sustainability? So yeah, it's a, it's a good question. Uh, I think here, as we said, that uh, we are able to bring in this offer in retrofit solution. So, mm -hmm. which means that uh, if, if there's something which is not working, uh, you are, uh, I mean, you are able to make that connected uh, on, a, on a retrofit basis. Uh, what, what it is able to do is just as it is able to tell you, uh, you know, what potentially could be going wrong uh, in your installation in your home. For example, you have an earth, earth leakage uh, or you have a problem with, uh, with any of your electrical circuit, uh, you could be calling your electrician uh, to come and fix the problem and, and therefore have uh, a predictive maintenance uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of what could go in your home. Uh, and and uh, as we said that it is telling you the energy consumption, it is telling you what is the right time uh, you can charge your electric vehicle, what time your tariff uh, from the grid is the lowest, what is the time to move towards renewable, uh, all this information is available uh, and therefore it is contributing towards uh, the sustainability uh, agenda uh, uh, and, and making sure that your homes are sustainable. Thank you, thank you Manish. Uh, I did not receive more questions. Is there any other question? Okay, I have another question. Which protocol do you see Schneider adopting for home automation going forward? Meaning radio protocol. I would let uh, Jan answer that. He's on the stage. Okay. So on the radio protocol, uh, we are very, uh, I would say, very flexible because we are using Zigbee, we are using Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bluetooth mesh. We will, uh, we will go to the latest and we can adapt our systems based on the requirements on the market. So it's, it's very open. We, again, it's an open protocol that uh, we have chosen to, to take. Okay, I have two other questions and I think we will run out of time. Uh, so clearly on what protocol is it based? Is it the focus of wiser B2C also? Yeah. So there's two questions. <clears throat> yeah, of course. What, what we have chosen is uh, the most common protocols uh, which is available on the market, which is BLE, Bluetooth, and Zigbee. Zigbee Pro and Zigbee Green Power, and Wi-Fi. So these are the three main protocols which are commonly used for the B2C business. And is the focus of Wiser B2C also? Because you talk a lot about electrician, is there an intent yes. to have a B2C offer? Yes, so uh, of course it's, uh, this offer and this system is very applicable uh, not only for the electricians, but also for the consumer. But of course, you will understand that uh, acting within the electrical panel uh, is not uh, authorized in most of the countries in the world, so we need uh, to have an intervention from the electricians or the, con or the uh, the, uh, the panel builder to, uh, to access and bring some uh, scalability on bringing these products within the, uh, within the panels. But the beauty of it is it takes a few minutes. It doesn't take more than that to install, configure it, and make it, make it work. Maybe, maybe I will take uh, maybe a few, few, few seconds because there are very often some questions of what is active safety. And today we are the only one, and in 2021, we will be putting a, a true revolution in the electrical installation. As you know, by regulation, we are protecting the people and we are protecting the assets. And uh, having said that, we have products in the panels to do that for any circuit. Here, what we, are, we have done in Schneider Electric is that we made it connected. 
meaning that everything which will happen on the circuit will be identified and will bring the end of the uh, uh, will bring the uh, all the information to the end user or to the, the, the electricians when we talk about uh, electrical faults some current leakage like on your uh, washing machine or you have an arc in your installation this will be detected and automatically this will be sent to your mobile as an alarm or a pre-alarm. This is the, the unique product that we have on the market for tomorrow, and we will therefore enhance the safety of every single installation in the world. And this is not accessible for the building, but also for the residential market. This will be for 2021, one of the most innovative element for electrical distribution. Okay. So thank you, Jan. Uh, thank you, Manish. I don't know if you have a few words of closing. We need to close. This is uh, the end of the session. Uh, I know you have over uh, session to go. So thanks for your attendance. Uh, really appreciate. If you have follow-up question, uh, in our press uh, release, you have our contact. We'll be happy to follow up and to reach you out. So thanks a lot, and have a great rest of the day. Thank you, Manish. Thank you.